Right, so we are back in our new clinic. We've had a bit of a break because we've been building this clinic and now we're back to give you the last few exercises of the knee 12-week rehab program. So here we go. Now the first one I'm going to give you is a real simple bridge with a band, but I'm going to go through a few things on this and then we're going to couple that with doing some hamstring curls on the seat. Okay, so very low level exercises because remember you're only in week three and four in this part of the program, but really essential ones for glute activation and for hip hinging and for hamstring work. So the bridge with a band. Now I've done a few videos on this before and this one is really, really easy, but the trick is making sure you're actually getting glute work done and not back extension done. Now at this level, Always use a band weeks three and four because you should be able to do a hinge by now and the band gives you that external rotation and a bit of activation through the hip. So when you're in this position here, instead of, remember, lifting up, don't think about lifting up when you do a bridge. I want you to think about pushing your heels down through the floor to do a hip hinge. Okay, so you are doing hip extension using your hamstrings and your glutes, if you push through your heels, you'll get better activation from up here to down there and you'll stop arching your lower back and loading up your back. Now this is also very important for people who are actually in the lumbar spine program because they don't want to be arching their back or using their back muscles to lift, they want to be stabilizing here. So for those of you who know about activating your core, switching that on is really important and then trying to slowly put weight through your heels Keep the band apart, so you keep your knees apart with a stretch on the band, and then drive your heels through the floor. And because you're connected here and there, you'll naturally hinge up at the midpoint. And if you can squeeze your glutes at the top, you'll get that extra hip extension to help out the hamstrings. When you lower down, weight through the heels, keep your core on. So again, your bum is hitting the ground first at that point there. So that's a real easy one. Now the second one in that set, of exercises is doing hamstring curls. Now you can either do these in sitting or standing. So what I would get you to do is get a band. Now obviously the heavier the band, the harder, right? And the beauty about doing them sitting is it's quite difficult. So at this point here, what you need to do is put that around a pole, okay? It can be anything at home, it doesn't have to be a big cage like this. It can be a pole at home or it can be a chair leg or dining room table, anything like that. Now what you do is you put it on the back of your heel like that. Okay, now I've used a double green band. I mean, going to a power band like that's a little bit too heavy, but what I'll get you to do is you move the seat back to how much tension you want. Now the tricky part about this is when you're sitting, and I'll show you when I'm standing, is trying to keep just the hamstring working and a very slow movement through there, okay? So you're trying to isolate hamstring work. Now, with knee rehab, this is really good for open chain hamstring curls and preparation for running and sprinting like that. And you start off with just gentle work like that to fire up these hamstrings. Really good to do prior to like a deadlift movement. So it's a really good activation and a good warm up if you like to work on that. And it's actually quite hard for the knee to control that movement. You've got to try and not make it all jittery. So if the band's too heavy, it's going to be really hard. You're going to get some cramping fatigue here. So just try and get the level of the band, the load level, and how far away you are, as in the tension, correct. So you're getting a really good workout through the hamstring. So you're working on that activation strengthening through there. When you're doing that knee flexion work, but it's not so much that you're going to cram the hamstring. And I could, you could probably get those repetitions right up to about 15 reps in that until you get a little bit of fatigue through there. Then obviously compare that with the other side. So that's your first two.